Hello my little cutie pie. Today is Crystal Pride. I'm really excited. I'm talking slightly quiet because it's in the morning of the weekend and my mum is still asleep so I don't want to wake her up. This is going to be the first time I've ever been to like a Pride event thing and it is also the first time that I am, it is the first Pride that I am like properly out to people with. I was um, this time last year I'd been out to some uni friends for a while, but I had only just come out to my Bristol friends, my home friends, and I still haven't come out to my parents yet. I'm excited. I'm going to have some lovely friends coming with me, and it should be a really lovely day. So I thought I would take you guys with me and hopefully, like, make an interesting video out of the day. <laughs> I'm going to eat some breakfast and then put my glitter on, and then I'll be ready. I Hello. found myself a rose. I found myself a <laughs> This is what I call my bisexual fairy queen look. It's beautiful. And this is my festival thing because I don't have to go to festivals. Yeah, so we're treating this like it's our glorious festival day. Yeah. Um, some of the people who are coming with us are cancelled. So it might just be the two of us all day, but that's fine. We don't need anyone else. We don't need anybody. Else. Got it. <laughs> um, we're sort of just hanging around in the centre because we're not entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing and where we're supposed to go. No. So we're just going to follow anyone who looks yeah, like they could be here. No, I'm the same yeah. event. There's lots of people though, aren't there? Yeah, no. <laughs> There's lots of people coming around with flags, so I'm just super. I'm going to yeah. take them like, what are they called? Like tour guides with their umbrellas up here. We'll just follow people oh, yeah. with flags. Anyone with rainbows. <laughs> we'll just like follow them where they go. But yeah, so I'm hoping to film a bit of the parade when we're watching it. And then, yeah.
I have just got back from Pride, literally just. I've had the most wonderful day, it has been so so good. I thought I would just try and capture how I feel right now on camera because, you know, that's what I do this for. I don't mean to be a complete sap, but we all know that I am a complete sap. <laughs> but I am feeling extremely thankful I feel extremely lucky to have been born the person I am because I live in a place where there are these massive events where an entire city will come together to celebrate gay pride and I can be a part of that and I can feel safe being a part of that and I'm not being afraid for myself because I feel like I can securely be who I am and that's pretty great to be honest. I feel pretty good about that so you know thank you Bristol I appreciate that I've had such a wonderful day I really do feel extremely full of love right now <laughs> I've been very glittery all day there's been a lot of good singing along to stuff and it's just been such nice weather it's been just such a nice day like I feel overwhelmed with love for the world and you know I'm not gonna go into this isn't gonna turn into my coming out story because that's not something that I really want to talk about on the internet right now but I am feeling when I look back at where I was a year ago and then I look back on where I am now I feel pretty good about the point that I'm at. 
you know, this time last year I'd only just come out to the people who I do consider to be my closest friends. I had only just got to a point where I felt like I could tell them this thing about myself. And I hadn't even done that with my parents yet. So I'm feeling pretty good about where I'm at. I just, I'm feeling very happy, you know, feeling I've had a day and it was really important to me that I went to Pride this year because I was like, you know, it's my first year that I'm out and I feel extremely comfortable in my sexual orientation, like I feel very comfortable identifying as bisexual, I don't feel like that's going to change. I feel it took me a while to get to the point where I felt comfortable saying that I identify as bisexual, but now that I'm here, I feel pretty secure in that. But, um, I don't know. I feel it was important to me that I was able to go to Pride this year as my first year of officially being out. And I'm not entirely sure why it was so important to me to be able to do this, but it actually was a thing that I really, really wanted to do. I wanted it to be my first year that I was out to, I'm not going to say everyone because there are people I haven't had that conversation with, but that's because I didn't, I got to a point where I was like, why do I have to have this conversation with every single person I know? But I, it was, as my first year being mostly out to the world, it was important to me that I was able to go to Pride. And so I went to Pride and I marched in the parade thing and I spent the entire day there and I feel like I fulfilled something to myself and I'm not sure what that thing was that I wanted to fulfill but I feel like I've done it and <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good pretty full of love for the world right now <laughs> which you know is where you want to be in it I have so along to a lot of stuff so I feel like my voice is going a bit and I do feel a bit sun-kissed and kind of quite sleepy. <laughs> so yeah, wherever you are, whatever, wherever you're at, I hope that everything is good with you because I feel like everything's pretty peachy with me right now and yeah. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. I am sending all of the sunshine to all of you. And, yeah, happy pride. <laughs>